Merry Christmas, everybody, once again from beautiful Lake Texoma. Hi, I'm Chef Kathy Zoss, the all-natural chef. And on this week's blog, we're going to teach you three wonderful drinks for not only Christmas, but to get the, get you to New Year's Eve, the end of the year. And what we're going to do, we're going to be making three drinks with vodka. Now, while we sticking with vodka, just like there's extra temptation on food during the holidays, you want to watch the extra drinking, too, during the holidays because there's a lot of calories. Vodka, gin, and rum are three of the best liquors that you can drink because they're clear. So you don't have that extra calorie intake. Not that they're perfect for you, but they're also easier for you to filter. But what we're going to do with these drinks is we're going to add some antioxidants to them, some healthy kind of kicks to them, just so maybe it makes you feel a little bit better about drinking them through the holidays. But we're going to keep it natural. Okay, the first one we're going to do is a um, pomegranate, no, it's a holiday pomegranate chiller. That's exactly what we're going to call it. And with this, we have all natural pomegranate juice. We have the vodka. And we're making this wonderful ginger syrup to go into it, okay? Now, you need to make this from scratch. It's very simple. You take a ginger root, and you're going to peel it just like you do a potato, and you're going to cut it just like that. And you're going to do a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and one cup of ginger. And you're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, you're going to put this on the stove and bring this to a boil for about five minutes, and they're going to let it chill for about 30 minutes. And this is going to be one of the great additives into your drink, okay? Pomegranate, holiday pomegranate chiller is the name of it. And now, you want to be kind of exact on these measurements. So once you strain this, you're just going to have a clear liquid. So we're going to do one ounce of the ginger syrup. Then we're going to do one ounce of your vodka. And then we're going to do one ounce of your pomegranate juice. And make sure it's 100% pomegranate juice. Pomegranates go all the way back to biblical time. It is one of the most natural ways to cleanse your body, full of antioxidants. So if that makes you feel better to put it with vodka, there you go. See, we're helping you out. And then you're going to do an ounce of that. And then you're going to put a little bit of ice in like a martini shaker. Not too much ice. And you're going to pour that in there like this. And then you're just going to shake it up. Give that a little tap. You're going to take your strainer, put it over there, and then we're going to actually put it in a martini glass. But before we do that, here's what I want to do. I want to add some lime to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of lime juice in it, fresh squeeze of lime juice. And I'm going to pour that in, martini glass just like that. Look at that red color, beautiful for Christmas. And we're going to top that off with some fresh mint. And that is the Holiday Pomegranate Chiller. Very simple, very elegant. It's a wonderful little sipping drink for your cocktail parties. Oh, that's nice. And the mint and the lime just really bring out the taste of the pomegranate. You get that nice little kick from the vodka. Wonderful holiday drink. Okay, that's our first one. Now what we're going to do... This is one of my favorites. I drink this probably three times a year. It's called a Greyhound. Now, the important, the important element of a Greyhound is the potency that you get from grapefruit. So we're going to actually squeeze our own grapefruit juice. So what you want to do is you want to put the ice in here. Make sure your ice is pretty. Don't get the big old block ice that you just get out of the refrigerator. Make sure your ice has some kind of element to it where it's either crushed or it has nice chunks like that. So you want to do that. Okay, now. We're going to actually do a real pour. This is two ounces top and bottom. If you have a jigger at the house, you're going to do a top and bottom, which is two ounces. And this is called a Greyhound. So you do one. And we're going to do two. That's two ounces. And you're going, wow, that's a lot of vodka. Well, this is a sipping drink. This is not something that you're going to play the Merry Christmas game with, where every time Santa Claus is mentioned, you do a shot. This is not that drink. This is a fun party drink that you walk around and you enjoy your party with. Fresh pink grapefruit. Make sure you take the seeds out. And all you're going to do is you're just going to squeeze a whole grapefruit in here. Now, if you, have a, if you have a juicer, that's fine. I really like just doing it with my hands. As a chef, I work a lot with my hands. This is just more fun for me. This is a really great way, too, to get your guests involved. It's fun. We have a friend of mine, in fact, in fact my producer, Miss Natalie, has martini parties where everybody brings stuff to make martinis. Well, this would be one way you could get your guests involved in the party. You just want to get some of that pulp in there. That's what makes a great greyhound. I'm going to do one more. But this is one whole grapefruit. 
just like that. Mm. Very Christmassy, very Christmassy. Off the hands, take a spoon, just give it a little swirl like that. And again, we're going to do your fresh lime. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little slit in it like that. So it's right there on the edge of the glass. Perfect little holiday drink. This is your Greyhound. It's a sipping drink. It's not a tug of lug drink. Mm. The pulp from the grapefruit. I love grapefruit. Once again, there's your antioxidants. Very good for your body. Helps filter the alcohol out the grapefruit juice does. So remember, and also the citric acid from the from the lime. Very good in filtering it out. As long as you sip it, you're not gonna, you're not going to get blown away. This is a really nice holiday drink. Okay, now, what we're going to do is one of my favorites, all Tom's favorites, is a Bloody Mary. This is our third vodka drink. Again, we're doing vodka. It's a clear liquid, less calories, less fat, and your body filters it better. So, I like mine spicy. Bloody Mary. I'm just going to use a small shot. One ounce of vodka in my Bloody Mary. There's a lot of elements that go into a good Bloody Mary. So every one ounce, or one and a half ounces. Now, if you want it spicy, that's fine. To get the spicy, you know, tomato juice, but I like to spice it up myself. And so we're just gonna do it like this. You're gonna pour that in. You wanna leave, leave about two, an inch from the top because we're gonna add some more stuff to it. Then what makes a great Bloody Mary is Worcestershire sauce. I like to put about half a teaspoon in there. Now again, really spicy. Remember we talked about the heat in your body because if you put peppers and heat into your diet, it gets rid of the impurities naturally, makes you sweat. Tabasco, and I like it spicy. So I put like, oh, that's good. About a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce in there. Then again, we're gonna do our, our lime. I like to go ahead and squirt. Now you notice I didn't roll this in salt. A lot of people like to roll the rim in salt, but I did not do that because of our garnish has a lot of sodium in it. <clears throat> Let me explain to you. We talked about celery before. Celery looks like a bone. 23% sodium, just like our bones. So you're going to get naturally, natural salt into your drinks. We're going to put that in there. And another thing I like to use is black olives. Love black olives. And this pickled okra. And this makes a wonderful, wonderful little garnish. You just want to put a toothpick through there. And put it in just like that, along with your celery. Again, get some lime. I like to float my lime. Put it in there just like that. No salt on the rim. Everything by nature has salt. You're getting sodium out of your celery, getting sodium out of the black olives, and of course the pickled okra. Plus, if you get a little hungry, you got something to eat. Now, the tomato juice, great antioxidants. Again, it's great for your digestion. It's going to help filter that vodka, and it's a wonderful, really pretty Christmassy drink. Spicy Bloody Mary. Mm. That's nice. Okay, we did the wonderful holiday pomegranate chiller with fresh mint. We did the Greyhound and we made the fret. We squeezed the grapefruit in there. Perfect for a holiday. And then we ended it with the wonderful Bloody Mary. These are great drinks for your holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And remember, keep it natural. And we'll see you next year.